Hello, hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Mariam here. In today's video, we are reviewing and tutorialing Lunar Beauty's new Strawberry Dream Collection by Manny MUA. You know the one. In this video, please expect an honest review as always, Team Truth style, plus of course a tutorial, duh, on this look that you see here, which I think is quite phenomenal. Like the palette itself, but you'd have to wait until the end to really truly get my verdict. So remember to subscribe, comment below if you have any questions, notification bell as always, and now let's hit it. Lunar Beauty, Manny MUA, Strawberry Dream Collection, here we come. Strawberry Dream Collection by Lunar Beauty by my boo, Manny MUA, has a Strawberry Dream palette. This one retails for $48. Beautiful packaging, very lightweight. Look at this amazing perforated moon. Can you guys see how it protrudes? It's so cool. I'm really obsessed with this packaging. And the clouds are also perforated. This is definitely dreamy. This palette is absolutely stunning inside. I love the colors. I'm particularly drawn to this yellow shade here called Horizon. I showed this palette on my Insta stories a couple of weeks ago and I was so so intrigued by this color I really honestly just wanted to dive into it and create a look right then and there with ju just that one color <laughs> oh my god oh my god this palette actually smells like strawberries in this collection we also have two liquid lipsticks that are $18 each and also a gloss that is $17 and a bundle with all three lippies is actually $42 in case you're interested in doing that if you want the entire collection with the palette and with the three lippies. The price for that is $80. I think that's pretty good considering that 42 plus 48 is $90. So if you want everything, you can save yourself some money. Just noticed there's some really cute moon imprints in this middle row here that I don't even want to touch because it's so pretty, but I got to touch because I got to do some swatches. So let's jump into those. Where is my Team Truth bell? Swatches time. And where's my bell? All right, swatch model time. Swatching blue diamond. Wow, sweet dream. It's really cool. Ruby skies, okay. Now time for horizon. This is my favorite color from the palette. That's so nice. Nightfall. Wow, what the f That's really pigmented. All right, swatching cloudy. Needs another dip. Bam. Swatching skyline. Here's sunset. Wow. Pretty. Next we've got Strawberry Moon. Isn't that like a Prince song? No, just me. Huh. It's uh, under the cherry moon. Uh -huh. ah! Here comes lightning. Wow. 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 That's hot fire. Here's pink flash. Wowzers. Mm, I like the colors. They're fun. It smells good. Thanks for your input, Lee. Here's blue sky. Oh my. Oh my. That's nice, huh? Very satisfying. Right? I was thinking the same thing, Lee. Here's haze. Sorry, did I just scratch you? Yeah, I'm okay. I apologize. And last but not least, we have storm cloud. That was a bad swatch. I apologize. Oh, yeah. Now that we've done some swatches, we are ready to create a look and apply all of these to Miss Ojos Fenty Beauty Primer. The one that I always use, just a smidgy poo. No, this is not a Euphoria makeup tutorial. Calm down, calm down. I don't think you can expect a Euphoria makeup tutorial from me because I hate when things become trendy. I just get so bored, but the makeup is cool. I just won't be doing it. The first color that I am going to reach for is going to be... Why don't we go for this one? I don't know why, it's just calling my name. And honestly, I typically wouldn't begin with a color like this, but this one needs to be the pop. It needs to be the center of attention on this look. And I need to build everything around it. Wow, this smells like amazing strawberries and cream. And I wish I was a skinny girl who could just eat anything she wants. All right, so I'm just gonna dot that on my lid. Clearly the pigment is insane and super intense and I'm here for it and I'm loving it. And it's my favorite color. Color, and I feel like this look is already complete. <laughs> but just for the sake of my IGTV, let's pretend like I'm still applying it. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do with this palette is 
is pick up blue sky that is really really pigmented and i am going to place that shadow to the outer corner wow manny what have you done the pigment here is absolutely ridiculous and so satisfying holy there's virtually no fallout. That's super impressive for a blue. I'm gonna work on subduing this color just a pinch and kind of just lifting it up in the outer corner. I haven't really seen anyone create this type of look with it, with this color combo, which is why I dipped into it. Man, what should I do from this point? Hmm, I'm gonna pick up a bit of haze. Again, a tremendous amount of pigment just to keep it on the safe side. I'm gonna start applying that close to my lash line, sort of as a liner. Pinch more fallout with this shade, but you know that doesn't bother me because you cannot, you virtually cannot have pigment like this without having some type of fallout. So beautiful. I'm gonna flick off some of that blue. It's not sticking to my foundation. I'm gonna take whatever's remaining on that brush and kind of just line my lower lash line with it. So right now things are looking kind of rough. Nothing is really blended. Everything is looking just a pinch amateur, but hold on, wait for it. We're not there yet and we will be making this work. For the inner corner, I was thinking of going for this shade here called Lightning. I'm just gonna pick that up on my ring finger here and stamp it to the inner corner. This was a very unique shade. It's a pale yellow gold with some reflective particles in there. I'm just gonna gently pack it in, completing that gradient. Then I'm gonna clean off that finger and dip back into Horizon. Also adding on top of that blue, just to secure the gradient. Actually, really, it's not gonna be a gradient, but I just want them to flow nicely into each other. Kinda like that. I'm gonna take a small but clean fluffy brush and very gently go over the border of this blue here, just to diffuse it out a pinch. And now I'm feeling like I might just need a pink in here somewhere. I'm gonna pick up a smidge of that pink flash. I'm gonna start working that in right here in the outer portion of my transition. This pink is honestly make me live. It's so pretty and I'm so glad I made this choice. The pink and the blue are actually creating a purple gradient. I don't think I'm gonna add anything to it. I'm just gonna let this bird of paradise speak for itself. So I'm starting with just adding a little bit of shadow and gradually blending in more shadow. Wow, this palette is a lot of fun. All the colors are working together. They're blending really well. There's no fall out and the pigment the pigment is leaving me speechless i have nothing to say but just give it a slow clap pigment is honestly on another level you guys and i feel like these shadows are very makeup artist friendly i can't believe i just started out with the gold shade and then built everything on top of it and around it but that's the beauty of this palette i feel just making you want to play and experiment picking up strawberry moon this much deeper pink and i'm gonna add that to the outer portion of my lower lid for some darkness and for some purpleness also gonna add a smidge of that right here to the border between that pink and that blue just to intensify the pink and just make everything a little bit more cohesive. I mean, truly, who is this girl and where is she going? I'm going to Korean barbecue tonight. Well, this girl, I don't know what she's gonna be ordering. She's on another level. All right, this is getting exciting and very intense. I'm gonna go back with that big old brush that I just had in my hand somewhere here. Boom. And I'm gonna gently blend out a pinch more of that pink flash just to keep this transition color popping. Yeah, like that. I'm missing that blue diamond. That shade right there. This shade is crazy. I'm gonna pick that up on a tiny little brush. I'm using all Morphe today, code Manny MUA, just in case. I don't use codes, but honestly, I'm sure you can find plenty of codes out there for Morphe. Just gonna stamp that right there for that satisfaction. I'm also gonna sparkle some of that onto the pink like that not too much not too little but this is just such a perfect unique necessary satisfying shade i just gotta do more with it i gotta do more honestly you guys i wasn't even going for this look i was trying to go for subdued korean barbecue appropriate type of makeup but now that i've started i can't stop
Should we add a little bit of that to the inner corner as well? Yeah, we should, definitely. Adding it sticks really well to the other shadows, which is pleasantly surprising because these types of shadows usually do not work well with other shadows, especially sparkly ones. Just gonna perfect this horizon shade right here. Make it a little bit more smooth and a little bit more lifted like that. And then you know what? I'm gonna pick up a bit of Nightfall. Same brush that I used for the purple shade. And I'm just gonna add a smidge of that right here just to continue the gradient while keeping it shimmery. Did I need to do that? Maybe not. Easy, if you don't like something, just take a clean brush, a neutral shade, like this one, cloudy, preferably a matte, and then just gently go over. Boom, no foul, no harm. So let's see, so far from this palette, we've used Blue Diamond, Horizon, a bit of Nightfall. I just used Cloudy to clean up the inner transition. I used Strawberry Moon, I used Lightning, I used Pink Flash, Blue Sky, and Haze. I feel like that is a lot of shadows for a first time look. So I am gonna put the palette down now and I am gonna finish up this look. I don't feel like I need liner. Put the liner down. I'm gonna add some mascara. Essence Lash Princess is what I've been using. It's what I've been loving and it's amazing. Lashes time, these are Lily Lashes, Ella, Mink Lashes. All right, those lashes were a bit of a struggle, but we pulled through and we're still standing. So now for the lips. We've got Dreamsicle, wow. We've got My Dream, wow. And we also have My Dream Gloss, super duper pretty. Clearly I'm gonna go for Daydream with Dreamy Gloss. Ooh, I mean, do I even want gloss if this daydream liquid lip is so dreamy? I think I'm good. Just gonna add something very small, just a sharp wing without the actual line, just right here to separate this blue shadow from the purple on the bottom. Also gonna add a bit of rock and coal right here, just to smolder things up a bit. And then with the darkest shadow in the palette, Storm Cloud, just gonna push that in right here in the outer corner. Don't have a highlighter handy with me, so I am gonna have to use one of these eyeshadows. Sweet dream. Yep, that's what I'm going for. And that's it, you guys. My strawberry dream makeup look is complete. I think this goes without saying, but this strawberry dream palette is clearly very dreamy. The eyeshadows are super pigmented. They blend well, they apply well, they perform really well. There are a number of looks that you can create with this palette. I mean, the possibilities are truly endless. If you love color the way that I love color, the way that Manny loves color, then you gotta get your hands on this palette and you gotta try it out for yourself. Thank me later, but you're welcome. I love you guys. I Hope you enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. Damn it. I want ice cream right now and I'm on a diet. So are you sweating or is it just me? It's probably me. I get Sorry, nervous. I missed that. Could you say it again, please? They're listening. They're always listening. That's pretty satisfying. Hmm. Huh. I don't even know what to do. Oh, I just remembered a dream I had last night. I can't tell you what it is. Oh my. Oh, like, come on, come on, focus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they are playing the oldest bachata song in the world right outside of my window because it's Sunday. What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? Wow. So wow, I'm impressed. Manny, you killed this palette. I love this collection. This is a keeper and I cannot wait to use her more. Any who's check out some of my other videos right here. I will see you guys very soon.